Yo, so, we all know that Gliscor is a really good Pokemon. I mean, it's been in OU since it came out in Generation 4, right? And the thing is, Gligar itself is actually a pretty good Pokemon too. So, the thing is, it's pretty bulky. So, you have 65 uh, HP and Special Defense, and then 105 Defense. Now, the thing is, this is even stronger as bulk. Because you have access to Eviolite, which gives a 1.5 boost in defense and special defense to Pokemon who evolve. So, Gliscor has a much higher defense stat, which makes it really, really good. And the thing is, it's pretty fast for defensive and supportive Pokemon. And then you have to realize, the typing is also pretty good. I mean, yeah, you're times 4 weak to ice, but then... You have pretty good immunity between electric and ground, and then you're also resistant to fighting. Bug and poison doesn't really matter because they're not the greatest uh, moves. I mean, poison is one of the worst offensive typings outside being able to hit berry, so you don't really have to worry about too much. And then you also have pretty good move set. You have earthquake for just da damage output. You have Bruce to heal, you have Defog, you have Stealth Rock, you have U-Turn, you have Toxic, you have Knock Off. You have multiple options to be able to set up and just use, be able to use utility moves, right? And that's what makes Glasscore so good, because it has a decent speed tier and good bulk with a good typing, with good movesets, which allows it to just set up things and just be able to live for quite a long time, because you can just use Roost over and over again. And just lives for quite a while, actually. So yeah, that being said, Gliscor is actually, or Gligar is actually a pretty good Pokemon outside of Gliscor. So yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.